Hey guys, Anna Zero here, and today we're gonna be making a video about how to set up a tank enclosure. I know we have a video like this before, but we did it with um forest floor bedding, which is that bedding is good for when you want to hold in the humidity. But this time we have um a reptile carpet in there right now is paper towels. That's not the right thing to put in there. That was just temporary. So we're gonna show y'all. How does I mean everything's pretty much set up, but we're gonna reset everything up with the new reptile carpet. Like I said, everybody has their own opinion with when it comes to budding. Some people just use paper towels, that's fine. Some people use aspen, that's fine. Some people use forest floor bedding for the humidity, that's fine. And some people use reptile carpet, that's fine too. Um with me, the reptile carpet works good and the forest floor bedding works good, so I use either or. And always remember for a tank, you want to have heating pads. For example, um, just because this tank isn't really that big, it's like a maybe 20, 30 gallon tank. Um, I give him the small heating pad because this heating pad, which is really big, makes the tank way too hot. And one time I felt him really hot and I got scared because you don't want them to be too hot. They could get burns like that. And he was pretty much getting burnt. So I took the big heating pad off and I put, and I'm going to put the small one under so that he could still have heat, but not too much where it could burn him. Then this heating pad, sometimes I just put it along the side just so it could stay, you know, humid because it's hard to keep humidity in a tank, which is why people prefer bins. So I'm going to start taking the stuff out now little by little, and I'm going to put the carpet in and show you guys. So we're gonna start by taking everything out of here. I could tell that he peed. He peed and poop or something in there. Cause it's dirty. Oh, he actually looks like, hold on. He might be shedding soon. I could tell by his skin, the color of his skin, he's dull. Since he's dull, he will be shedding soon. And I'm gonna record that process for now. I'm taking all the plants, everything out, clean it with water. Don't use any type of um, cleaning things that you would use for your house. That's really bad. If you don't have a specific kind of reptile cleaner, like F10, for example, then just use water. You don't want to use soap or anything like that that could harm the snake. So for now, I'm taking all his plants and rocks out. I'm going to have to clean them because I could tell that he peed all over here. <clears throat> You want to like always make sure that the tank is clean and not dirty, but at the same time, you do like a detail clean once a month. Detail cleaning is like literally taking everything out, taking the whole tank out, washing the tank and everything. Right now, I'm just doing a basic cleanup. Taking, you know, his hides out. His hide doesn't really need to be washed because it's already clean. Oh, well, spoke too soon. He peed on it. I got to clean that. And last but not least, take Shady Fat, Fat Self out. He's a little bit touchy. He's, oh, okay, you're laying on your own poop? Okay, great. Well, he is about to shed. I don't know if you guys can see his dullness. He's usually brighter than that. He's definitely about to shed. And here's an empty tank. And now we'll be placing, taking this out. I'm going to spray it down with water and clean it because I don't have F10, apparently. Unfortunately, I don't have F10, but... I'm gonna have to use water to clean it. So, and then I'll be placing in the reptile carpet. Okay guys, so I just took everything out of the tank. I'm using water. I'm not using no wipes or like, I'm not gonna use anything that's toxic for him. So, since I don't have the F10, like I said, I'm using water to make sure I get the stink out of here. Which he didn't make too much of a big mess, so it's not like I really have to. Uh, detail clean or anything so now we'll be adding the carpet which I think is probably a little bit too long for this tank yes it is very long for this tank it's okay it's okay that it's overlapping I mean I could always cut that piece out or I could just leave it folded like that and put the hide on top. It's whatever. Okay, so now 
I'll be taking this heating pad and putting it under the tank. I had three ends. Um, Zero, do you mind coming over here and holding the camera? And Shady's over here patiently waiting. <clears throat> Let's see from right there with the door. Okay, so. Sorry, my hair's in the way. Yeah. I don't, don't show my face. So I'm going to be taking this heating pad right here. And I'm putting it under where his hot, his hot side is. Okay. You're not showing my face, right? No. Alright, so don't forget, guys, there's always a hot side and a cold side. You gotta make sure we take some time. We take time. What do you mean? We take turns doing that. Because yeah. I don't think you do it by yourself all the time. Zero is helping me with everything. He he's doing that. actually just finished cleaning all of Shady's rocks. So um now you guys see alright, let me show all right. The heating pad is right there. That's his hot side. But like I said, that heating pad is really small for Shady because he's already three years old. He's a big snake already. Which he really needs this one. But like I said, since this tank is not his original tank, his original tank is actually 50 gallons, super huge. But this is his temporary tank. And that big heating pad makes it way too hot, so I'm not going to put him in danger. And I'm going to take his favorite hide and put it over that heating pad. Hide still stinks. I have to clean it again. Okay. Well, yeah, so that that's his heat side. Shady. This is his cold side. That's when he wants to be chilled. Um, and we add the water bowl, like always. And you add plants. Sorry, I'm a little bit shaky. And you know, we always add rocks, guys. You don't have to add rocks. That's just for decor. All of this is really for decor because, like I said before in the older videos, you can have them in bins and they'd be fine with that, too. This is just for, like, if you want to, like, really go all out. So, okay. Got most of his plans. The plants are just for him to feel like he's really in his own environment, I guess. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need for a tank. There you go. And um oh one thing I forgot. Uh, a humidity gauge. I got a, a heating one too. You always wanna I mean, you know, you always wanna be on track with their temperatures. Make sure they have the right humidity and the right heating. And I guess for now guys, that's about it. Like I said, the heating pad, you need a heating pad. Um. Oh yeah, another thing. When you put a lid on, you need lid locks. They are escape artists. He escaped this tank probably like three, two times. I actually have to put weights on top. So, um, last but not least, just add them in there. Yeah, he's definitely about to shed soon. I can see it in his color. And then you add your snake. And from there, that's it. That is how you set up a tank. Oh, wait, I forgot one more thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second.
All right, so the last thing I'm adding right now is the background. Um, you don't always need a background, but that's just so they could feel like, I don't know, I guess so they could really feel like they're in the woods or something. I got a tape, I'm holding it just to show you, but let me just take it out. Okay, so this is like, you could get this thing at any pet store, any pet shop. It's two-sided. I mean, the other side is for, like, a fish tank for fishes. But, yeah, I, I taped this to the back of the tank, so I guess we could feel more secure. And that's pretty much how you set up a tank for a ball python. And thank you guys for watching. Sorry that we, you know, haven't been posting videos like that. And we definitely will be posting more videos soon. It's going to be Shady's Feeding Day soon, so we will be recording that. Thanks a lot for watching, YouTube. And like, subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.